Chapter 8 Warning to Practicers The Fifty False States Caused by the Five Aggregates States of Mara Caused by the Five Aggregates As the gathering drew to a close, the Buddha grasped the teapoy and made a move to rise from his lion seat, when suddenly he changed his mind, leaned back, and said to Ananda and the assembly, You, Shravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas, need to study more in your quest of supreme Bodhi. I have taught you the method of correct cultivation, but you still do not know the subtle states of Mara which appear when you practice Samatha Vipassana. When they manifest, if you fail to distinguish them, and if your minds are not in a right state, you will fall into the evil ways of either the demons or your five aggregates, of the heavenly Maras, of ghosts and spirits, or of mischievous sprites. If you are not clear about them, you will mistake thieves for your own sons. Further, you may regard some little progress as complete achievement, like the untutored bhikshu, who, when he reached the fourth dhyana heaven, presumed that he had become a saint. After he had enjoyed his reward in heaven, all indications of his approaching fall appeared. As he vilified the arhats, he created the karma of future incarnation, and then fell into the avici hell. You should listen carefully to what I now tell you in detail. Ananda rose from his seat, and with all those requiring further study, prostrated himself at the Buddha's feet and awaited his compassionate instruction. The Buddha said, You should all know that the clear substance of the profound and bright basic Bodhi of all living beings of the twelve types of birth in samsara is that of all Buddhas in the ten directions. It is because you think wrongly that you are not clear about the noumenon, and so become stupid and full of desires which lead to your complete delusion. Hence the relative voidness, and as you are always deluded, the world is falsely created. All countries, countless as dust, are in samsara because of your obstinate wrong thinking. But you should know that relative voidness is created in your minds, like a small cloud that is but a speck in the great emptiness. How much more so is the world which is within this relative voidness? If you realize the real to return to the source, the void in the ten directions will vanish. Why then will not all the countries in that voidness shake and crack? When you practice dhyana to preserve the state of samadhi, all bodhisattvas and all great arhats whose essence of mind is already penetrative are unmoved. But the kings of the demons, ghosts, spirits, and lower heavens are shocked to see their palaces break open without cause, and the great earth shake and crack. All those on earth and in the air take fright, whereas worldly men who are deluded do not feel anything, because these demons, though they have acquired five supernatural powers, still fail to realize transcendental insight into the ending of the streams of transmigration, for they have not broken their links with samsara. How can they let you destroy their dwellings? This is why they come to trouble and annoy you when you enter the state of samadhi. However, in spite of their rage, these demons are there in your profound state of Bodhi, and are like people trying in vain to blow out sunlight and to cut water with a sword, while you are like boiling water that melts solid ice. Though they rely on their supernatural powers, they are but externals, and will only succeed in destroying you if you, who own the five aggregates in your minds, are deluded, and let them do so. For these demons cannot harm you, in your state of dhyana, if you are awakened and are not deluded. If you wipe out the five aggregates, you will enter the state of brightness, wherein all demons are but dark vapors. Since light destroys darkness, they will perish as soon as they approach you. How then dare they disturb the state of samadhi? On the other hand, if you fail to awaken and are thereby deluded by the five aggregates, then, Ananda, you will become a son of Mara and help the demons. As an illustration, Matanji, who was so base, 
used magic to cause you to break one of the 80,000 minor rules of pure living. But since your mind was pure, you were not ruined. This shows the imminent loss of all your precious body. You were almost like a chancellor of state whose possessions are suddenly confiscated, so that he is in straitened circumstances without any hope of obtaining aid.